One of the great joys of this fabric is the way that it fringes very, very easily. So we've made this cushion, which is really, really easy to make. I've got my tape measure, I've got the fabric out, and I'm going to do a snip to 50 centimetres. In inches, that's 19 inches. And then I'm going to tear it. It tears beautifully. In fact, it's much better if you tear because you get lots of nice lengths. The yarn will pull out, and that's the whole joy of it. So I'm going to cut this all. So now I've got my second piece of fabric. So just to show how it will work eventually, is it will be like that, sewn together along there with a the cushion in the middle, and then I'll sew along there. Um, but not with the cushion in, of course. So now I'm going to put these two together. How I did this is that there's the two dark sides, the Aubusson are together, and they're the two Provence, Provence sides. That just makes it richer and thicker. So this side, they're both the Aubusson colour, and this side, they're both the Provence colour. So now I'm just going to I'm using that as a guideline and I'm just going to pin it um, about an inch down, a few centimetres down, so you've got enough to make a fringe. However big you want the fringe really. So I've pinned the three sides, not all four, just three sides, um, and now I'm going to put it into the machine. So I've sewn the three sides, uh, I've left one uh, unsewn, then I'm going to put my cushion inside there. Um, I'll then uh, put pins along there and then I'll sew it in with the cushion inside. So to save time, here's one I did earlier. This is all finished like that. And now um, I can start to, now the fun starts, this is the really this is the bit I love to do. And then you can just pull the thread. So you carry on pulling the threads until you're happy with it. And then finally, you've got something like this with the fringing all around. And I think it looks absolutely wonderful. <laughs>